Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream where we do whatever I want on Thursday night, starting at 6.30, every Thursday. And um, I know we've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy X on the stream so far in the great year 2021. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. Um, one of my supporters who has been a patron. Hey, Jane. Oh, good. You're in your regular account this time. Wonderful. Hey. Um, one of, ah, oh, Mochi, you too. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so um, Bez is one of my patrons who has been a big supporter of my work for a while. And oh my gosh, Ty, hey, I'm so glad. I'm always so glad you can make it. Oh, RBC Games, hey, welcome. New face in here. Always love to have a new face. And hey, Kendra, oh my gosh, we're y'all are in for a treat tonight because we're doing a first impressions of a game. And so I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be crazy, probably, because I have no idea. Um, remember the last time that I did this, it was Halloween and I played a horror game, which was incredibly entertaining for you all and absolutely awful for me. So <laughs> uh, maybe we'll have something like that. But um, yeah, this is a game that Bez has made. Uh, they're a wonderful supporter of my work. They've been a patron for a long, long, long time. So for those of you that don't follow my Twitter, that aren't in the Discord, let me just link this in the chat. So this is the game we're playing. It's called Lore Distance Relationship. And if you like it, here's where you can buy it. Uh, they told me that it was around two-ish hours of gameplay, so we might finish it tonight, but we might not. It really just depends. You know, when you stream something, it takes longer, right? Yeah, I love the name too. I'm really excited for it. Um, but before we get to that, we of course need to talk about Wednesday's Spare Room episode, so let's do that real quick. All right, so 2021, instead of astrology, we're doing MBTI. Okay, so just like when we had the astrology videos, we had to do a video that was like an introduction, right, that explained what astrology is and how we use that for character creation and all of that lovely good stuff. So that's what this video is. This is that for MBTI. So this is like a history of MBTI. This is kind of how we use it in the character creation process. It is a lot simpler than astrology. So for those of you that felt a little bit overwhelmed, <laughs> by the too much information with um with horoscopes and with astrology and things like that i think you'll find mbti a lot easier but that also means that my recommendation is you use it for a little bit of a narrower focus which i talk about in the video specifically what i use mbti for when it comes to character creation and y'all should definitely go watch this one even if you're not super interested in mbti because it features a voiceover from our friend landon and um, and I, I want to y'all to all hear her voice. She plays um, a very bitchy character <laughs> in the video, so it's great. And um, uh, the other reason that y'all definitely need to go watch it is because self-imposed, it's got a yellow dollar sign. Um, spoilers for the video. Uh, the history of MBTI is real freaking racist. So that means that I had to mark, I marked that on YouTube, right? It gives me the option to do that. Now I marked on YouTube that there's some racist stuff in the video, um, which means they gave me the yellow dollar sign. I'm not gonna get as many ads playing on it as a typical video would have. So definitely go watch it because when there's less ads on the video, there is less incentive for YouTube to push it out to other people, which means it probably won't get as many views as it potentially could normally. Um, another really frustrating freaking thing happened with this video that I want to tell y'all about. I got my first channel warning. A bot decided that one of these sources, that one of my sources, because of course we cite our sources, one of those links was apparently malicious according to the bot. It's not, okay? I wasn't trying to sell nothing. I wasn't trying to spam nothing. I wasn't trying to like you know, tell people to go do this service or whatever. I was just citing one of their blog articles, but the bot thought differently. I mean, it's literally listed under sources. So if a human looked at it, it's really freaking obvious. Um, but a bot disagreed. So I appealed it. Hopefully that will get removed from my channel because once you have a warning on there, um, if you get any strikes, like that actually hurts you. So yeah, the bots are super whack mochi. Um, I mean, <laughs> this is the first time that I have been caught by a bot for something that was totally not legit. You know, sometimes in videos I have like clips from TV shows and things like that if it's relevant to what I'm talking about. And I have had bots catch that for like copyright and things like that, but like whatever. I mean, I know it's fair use, but like a bot can't possibly tell the difference. But I would expect, 
a bot to know if it says sources above a list of links that there's nothing malicious in there and yet mind is blown i can't so please go give that video some love especially if you're interested in mbti um and even if you're not because like i said it's got landon in it it's a bunch of a bunch of stuff behind the scenes with that video so i want it to get some love but in the interest of time we are going to dive into the game real quick today because like i said it according to the creator according to bez it does take about two hours to go through so i want to try to get through as much of it as we can so here we go let's dive into it lore distance relationship so this is first impressions uh, all i did was like open this up to make sure that it that it opened <laughs> i have not played any of this game yet so let's see um we have a warning here so this game contains discussions of domestic violence and abuse and depictions of teenagers exploring their sexuality well honestly that really just sounds like everyone's neopets um you know experience so so that sounds pretty par for the course if you're uncomfortable with any of that feel free to check out no worries no worries okay let's get started all right kevin i know you're tired of piggybacking off my ruffians account so today we're going to make your own surprise okay so first we click new user okay so i guess i'm supposed to click it anyone else get stuttering um i don't see anything on my end that says they're stuttering maybe try refreshing the stream tie oh i'm supposed to oh okay the ruffians need your help these space dogs were living well on their home planet until it was destroyed by evil dr x now they need a new home earth and they need your help to blend in to their new surroundings. Will you care for these adorable pets, teach them how to live on Earth, and raise them to be your best friend? A freaking course. Then you have to make your username. I know you've been thinking of one, so why don't you type it in? I love this game already. Yeah, I'm really, I, I'm like, I'm really drawn in already. I'm like having such nostalgia um, for Neopets. I never role played on Neopets. I know there was a role play scene there. I mostly played the mini games, but like, I spent a stupid amount of hours playing some of those mini games. All right, what do we want for our username? Um, guys in the chat, what should, our, what should our username be? I can just put mine, um, or we can make it something a little bit different. We can have one of you guys if y'all want. Uh, what do you want for the username? Why don't we make it Mochi? Awesome. Now I have oh, to make no. your starting pet. You oh, I didn't get to on choose. The, left, the terraform in the center, and the space shepherd on the right. I thought I was going to get to choose. Prefer? Oops. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. Okay. Do we want Slimy, Terraforma, or Space Shepherd? It looks like we do actually get to choose this one because I can click one of these right here. The Bobson Dogna. Yeah, it didn't let me, RBC. I'm so sorry. Um, I thought it was going to, but it looks like we get to actually make a choice here. Do we want, do we want to be Slimy, Terraforma, or Space Shepherd? I'm kind of feeling Space Shepherd. What do you guys think? All right, I think we're gonna go with Space Shepherd. Sweet! Now click the big go button and we're all set. Okay, so Queen Blue Rose, female, being with friends, and friendly wave. Okay. And, oh, the world map's having trouble loading again. Can you refresh the page, Kev? I think that'll help. Uh, okay. There we go. And welcome to Ruffians! It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Trust me, you are going to love it here. Having to refresh, uh, that's definitely a, a, a Neopets situation there. Okay, chapter one, 2001, age eight. Okay. I think I'm, was I eight in 2001? I have to count. Let's see. No, I think I was a little bit older. This close, very close. Okay. Staircase 714's doghouse. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. The Flower Kingdom is a happy and beautiful place. They are led by Queen Blue Rose, an extra helpful and kind ruffian who loves justice and keeping er, and helping other people. You can see Queen Blue Rose and some of her subjects on the right. You can also see her enemies. Ah, oh, okay. I'll have to scroll down. Oh yeah. 
can't go inside there. <laughs> yes. Kendra, were you on Neopets back in the day? I feel like you probably were. Okay, busy as a bee, new messages. Hi, hello, fellow member of the Cranberry Guild. Okay. Hello? Yay, Cranberry Guild. Who's this? Oh, it's how I respond. Okay, I get it, I get it. Hi, fellow member of the Cranberry Guild. We're going to say, let's say, yay, Cranberry Guild. Hey, Lunar! Welcome, welcome! Lunar, we're playing um, a game that's very heavily inspired by Neopets. I feel like Neopets was probably something you were into back in the day, considering your interest in wolves. Um, so yeah, that's the little beginning bit that you missed. Woo! How old are you? Oh. Oh man, let's be real. We're going to say I'm almost nine. Why would you say eight when you're, when you're eight years old? You'd say I'm almost nine. You weren't? Oh, I'm really surprised. You, you would have loved it. You, you must have just missed out. So you're eight. Me too. And I saw our birthdays are the same day. How crazy is that? Whoa. Anyway, question. How did you get a la lavender ruffer roar? I want one. Uh oh. <laughs> this was such a Neopets mood, wasn't it? Okay. My sister Rachel passed him to me from her doghouse. Why are you asking? You want one? Um, I'm just going to say what happened. That's awesome. That's the most rare color on the site. Oh, sweet. You are a lucky dog. Well, hopefully I get like a sweet paintbrush later. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Cool. Cool. It is cool. Oh, man. This is so taking me back to early 2000s internet. This is like legit how we typed back then. Okay. I guess they just didn't respond after that. Okay. Was it that, hello, are you still there? Was that it? Yeah, uh, I was looking through your doghouse's story stuff and it's super cool. I really, really love it and the Flower Kingdom is really cool. Aw, oh, thanks, Busy Bee. Yeah, I never did either. Um, Kendra, I never got a paintbrush or anything cool like that. I really just like got the, um, I would go to the omelet, you know, and get the omelet and then I would play the mini games and that was as far as I got. I miss 90s chat rooms. Me too, Ty. Do you RP? Hell yeah, I RP. I actually didn't back when I was like 8, 9. I think I founded it like age 11. Role play. Wait, nobody's asked you to RB before. Your layer is so cool. Why? How do you role play? Hold on, I'm going to ask my sister about this. Oh no! Why would you ask your sister? I guess, I guess this character, I guess Staircase Heaven doesn't know what role play is. Okay, we're just going to ask how then. How do you role play? Um, hold on, I'm gonna get my dad. Why are you going to get your dad? To type what it is for me, he can explain it better than I can. Okay. The Fairyland games were so much fun. Yes, they were. And I would play the hell out of the, the pyramid game that they had in Neopets. Roleplay is writing a story with another person. You play write one character and the other person writes another. You each take turns interacting with your characters to make a story. Yeah, that's basically it. Ask your sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess there is a lot of stream delay. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I am reading your chats and stuff, but there's apparently a, lo a long delay today. So, yeah. Role playing sounds fun. So, we both play a character. I don't know about this. <laughs> uh, let's do. Okay, role playing sounds fun. That seems legit for a eight year old. Cool. Yay. You want to RP? We can talk more about our lore and stuff before starting, don't worry. Okay. But tell me more about the flower kingdom you made. The dad being involved is a red flag. I agree, Ty. It's really strange. Who's your favorite character? Queen Blue Rose because she's strong, because she's kind, or because she's gentle? Um, because she's kind. Especially the dogs that don't deserve it. I like them all really, but she's my coolest pet. Yeah. That's awesome. My coolest pet is Chompy. I wonder if we get to see Chompy. 
He's a red Referor, not Lavender like yours, but he has some really cool fighting moves and always beats up the bad guys. I think he and Queen Blue Rose would get along. Can they beat up bad guys together? What kind of fighting moves does Chompy had? I want them to beat up bad guys together. That's a good question, Ty. I guess um, at 8 we're not too concerned about that. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Code named... Oh, code name De Reels. De Reels. Hey! How's it going? And they beat up bad guys together. I want a rougher roar too, Ty. Yeah, for sure. I think they'd make a good team. This is exactly what plotting is like. Asriel, you can just call me As. Ah, okay. As then. Do you want to try a roleplay interaction with them? Yeah, I'm okay. This is my first time doing this. No, we have, we have the confidence of a child, y'all. We don't know we suck yet. So we're going to say yeah. Yay! Just remember that the idea is to keep the story moving. My dad says you have to say yes and. Oh, hey, that's true. I tell you all that. <laughs> like agree to what the other person says and add on to it. Okay, I'm going to start. Here we go. Coming here from Wolf's Den, thought I'd check you out. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. For, for y'all that are longtime watchers, I'm trying, I'm trying to uh, network with the more streamers and stuff. So I joined a couple of um, Discord groups of like small streamers and things like that, uh, hoping to kind of like learn some things and make the stream better for you guys. Okay, anyway, going on. Chompy. Hello, Queen Blue Rose. I've heard you're awesome and can beat up stuff like me. Is that true? Yes, it's true, I'm awesome. <laughs> Where did you hear that from, Chompy? What should I say back? Oh no, we're gonna play along. I mean, I know how to roleplay. I didn't when I was eight, but that's okay. Yes, it's true, I'm awesome. Hey, Bree, welcome. So glad you could make it. Yes, it's true. Okay. So the rumors are true, your highness. I have heard of a bad dog who needs to be beat up. Oh shoot, they're stealing stuff and being not very nice, but we can't have that. Will you come with me and kick his butt with me? <laughs> this is exactly what roleplay is like, okay. Yes, I'll come with you, who's this dog you speak of? Butt is a swear. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God, okay. <clears throat> okay, who's this dog you speak of? Tell me more. This dog is the king of bandits who does not like good guys like us. Will you come kick his butt with me? Well, I mean, if he, if he doesn't like good guys, then yeah, let's go kick his butt. Yes, I'll come with you. Let us combine our powers to be more awesome. Yay, let's combine and become the awesomest heroes ever. Chompy does a happy battle dance with the asterisk. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> I mean, I am almost nine. I know better, but it's not a swear. God, that's a big kid word. So yeah, that's role play. What did you think? That was nice. That was cool. Or I'm not sure what I think yet. That was cool. We're going to go beat up bad guys. Yay, we're cool together. Would you like to do that again sometime? Sure. Hooray. Asterisk was the shit back in the day. I'm just saying. My dad had dinner ready, so I have to go, but I really liked playing with you. You're pretty cool. You're pretty cool too, busy as a bee. Thank you. Bye. Busy bee is offline. Okay. Look, I'll tell mom you're doing homework, so open another window or something when you log on. Come on, go! You want to talk to bee, don't you? Oh, okay. Oh, this is Busy Bee's doghouse. Roar, Bee's space, are you a friend or foe? One word, wolf speak. Ty! <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? Why would you say wolf speak to me? <laughs> I just had a little flashback for a moment. Okay, this is Bee's doghouse. My favorite pet's Chompy because he's big and strong. I guess this is Chompy right here. All right, sweet. Okay, you sent me a message. Hello, Stare. Hey! 
Hello, B. Hi, friend. How are you doing? How's things in home? I'm okay. Rachel is good. Mom's her usual self mad. Oh, we just met this girl. I don't know. I don't think I should be telling her that stuff. I think I should just say I'm okay. Keep it vague. I got all my homework done so I can go on Ruffian's day. Oh, good job. Lying on the internet. That's great. Yay for finished homework. I still need to finish mine. I want to RP, but first, I read the story you wrote. Oh, I, apparently I sent her a story. Um, you can say it's bad. It's probably bad, like, right? Like, she's eight. <laughs> Not because it's really good. <laughs> wow, I got played. You should definitely send it to the Ruffians Report. I'm sure they'll publish it in the web paper. Oh, it's really good. Um, do you mean it? Of course, you're my friend. I don't lie to friends. Oh, that's good. Please send it in. They'll like it. Oh, yeah. You're right, Ty. It said that on the previous screen. I just missed it. She's nine now. You're right. Please. Ah, sorry, my eyeball keeps watering. Okay. Um, okay, I'll send it in. Yay, I'm happy now. Oh, sweet. So, RP. Where were we last time? Okay, we were, let's see, Queen and Chompy were battling Shark's minions. We're kicking butt at Shark's castle. Fighting. Uh, we're kicking butt at Shark's castle. Oh yeah, nice. Let's do the final battle. Are you ready? Heck yeah! I'm always here for final battles. Let's do this. Oh, I'm digging this music here. Okay. Shark stands at his throne. He growls. Oh, good job, Busy Bee, playing the NPCs like that. Sharky, you defeated all my minions. How dare you? <laughs> they were easy to beat up. We do dare because you're a bad guy. You're next. You're next, Shark. Oh, we're moved on now. We're like, we're, we're like spelling it out with quotes and stuff. Your next shark, said Queen Blue Rose, confidently stepping forward. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna beat you up. Chompy turns to Queen Blue Rose. What move should we use to beat him up together, Queen? Let's karate him together and end his reign of terror. Let's use our ninja powers to take him out. Let's just punch him in the face. We're gonna use ninja powers, y'all. Let's get some magic up in here. Yeah, let's be awesome ninjas. No, not ninjas. <laughs> because ninjas are quiet, they take him out super quietly. Ah, oh, well, of course. Chompy, yay, we did it, Queen Blue Rose. Now we can take him to the castle dungeon and lock him up for good. Yay, we're awesome. Or to the dungeon with you, Shark. Okay, she's gonna be cool. Queen Blue Rose offered a high five to Chompy and turned to Shark. It's to the castle dungeon with you. That's what we get for being so mean and nasty. I feel like St Stare has gotten better at RPing and Chompy's, I mean, Busy Bee is RPing the same way. If anybody else is picking up on that, I don't know. Chompy accepts the high five and their paws come together awesomely. They save the day, for now. Seems like a good place to stop there, Stare. Yeah, I think so too. Gotta have endings. Important. That was a good session though. It's always good when you kill the bad guy, right? I had lots of fun. Did you have fun too? You always ask me that. <laughs> That's so real. That's good. It's just like, nobody usually likes the stuff my dad taught me about role playing and stuff. The other kids think it's annoying and my dad's a weird nerd and that I am too. You know what kid, embrace it. Not to mention my legs. What? Anyway, I didn't really expect to be playing with you for this long, but I'm really happy we are and that we are friends. I'm glad I met you. I know that's how I feel about my roleplay friends. Me too. All right. I have to eat now, but I'll see you tomorrow night if my mom doesn't stop me. <laughs> Your mom is such a butt. Okay, bye. Butt's a swear. Submit to the ruffians report. 
The editor says, So you think you're good enough for my newspaper, eh? Well, send in your story and I'll take a look at it. The Big Scare Fiction. Put your story in the box and click Submit. Okay. It was a dark night inside the Sahara outpost. Lutri? Yeah. Lutri was watching out for the humans when suddenly... And he suddenly heard a big noise. What was that? He exclaimed out loud. So he went, and I guess we can't read the rest of it. Okay. We're submitting, hey, whatever. That new lore looks awesome, little dude. I'm sure B is going to love it. Is she online right now? Okay, we're 10 now. We're 10. Okay. Hi, I'm Queen Blue Rose. I rule over the Flower Kingdom as their queen. I am a kind and smart ruler who loves helping other people. My best friend is a rougher war named Chompy, who also loves helping other people. He knows all sorts of karate moves. I have a lot to learn from him, but that's okay because I like learning from my friends. My subjects are Lilac and Asteroid Akita. She's really shy. And there's also Dandy the Rougher Roar, who's really smart. And then there's the evil King Weed. Okay. Knowledge, intelligence, knowledgeable, hobby, being friends. Okay. Yeah, confirm bio edits. Oh, do I have a message? Is that what that means? Yes. Let's read it. Hi, Stare. B? I guess the all lowercase is awkward for her. Sorry, I'm here. Hi, Stare. Is something wrong? Yeah. Uh-oh. Kind of in a slump today, fifth grade sucks. Oh man, I don't really remember. I think I liked my teacher in fifth grade, actually. Yeah, it does. Thanks, I don't know. It's like, all the kids in my school are dating now. And they keep telling me I'm not attractive enough for that. What? Whatever, that's rude. Yeah, I think it is going to get dark, Ty. I mean, there was a trigger warning at the beginning, so <laughs> I feel like it's going to turn there. Um, one kid called me gay, and I don't even know what that means. Oh. Oh, that's what's going on. And it's dumb and stupid, but I wish I could date somebody because that would prove I'm enough, I guess. Oh my gosh, don't think like that. My dad doesn't get it. He says I should just move on. Well, I mean, your dad's kind of right. I don't know. I'm really sad about it, I guess, but it's dumb, so I know I shouldn't be sad. Do you get that? Sorry, my dog likes to chew herself too much. I was just reaching down to stop her. Okay. Yeah, my school kids are dating too, and I'm not. My mom told me that if I start dating now, she'll kill me. I think I get it. Um, Let's do this. Yeah, kids at my school are dating too, and I'm not. So we're in the same boat. So like, um, would it be okay if Chompy and Queen Blue Rose dated? Is that weird? I don't know. I can't be happy, so I want them to be happy together, I guess. Oh, that's kind of nice. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> oh, don't we all? Date in your own time, kid. Even if that's Tuesday of never. Yeah, I agree. What do you think, Stare? Sure, we can make them a couple. I don't think we should make them a couple. No, let's make them a couple. I mean, they beat up bad guys together. Why not? Really? Wow, I thought you'd say no or I'm weird. Thanks, Stare. Ready to do it now. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Okay, I'll start. Chompy sits down next to Queen Blue Rose. The battle was really hard, but they made it through to the end and won the day. The sun is setting. And we've got some nice romantic music here. Queen, is there some there's something I want to tell you? What is it? Queen Blue Rose looks at Chompy. What is that? She asks him. Chompy takes a really, really deep breath. You're a really nice and tough person, and I've been falling in love with you ever since the day we met. You're kind and brave, and I admire that, and we both match really well together. I was wondering if I could date you, Queen Blue Rose. Could we be a couple? Yes, we can date. Queen Blue Rose smiles at Chompy. Yes, we can date, she says to him. I think it would, I would really like that a lot. You've always been nice to me and we would make great daters. That's so sweet. 
Yeah, it's really sweet right now, Mochi. I'm like, kind of like, oh, is it gonna get dark? <laughs> Chompy is redder than he naturally is as a red rough roar. Oh, that's cute. Oh, thank you, Queen Blue Rose. That makes me so happy. He looks out into the sunset. Now that we're dating, may I hold your paw, Queen Blue Rose? Let's see. Let's just do it. Just do it. Queen, Queen Blue Rose reaches out and takes Chompy's paw. She squeezes it tightly. She wants him to feel happy and loved. Chompy smiles and squeezes back. He does feel happy and loved. When he holds her hand, nothing can stand up against their awesome bond. Chompy is nervous. Uh, can I kiss you? Whoa, this is moving really fast. Okay. You can so say, oh, you can say no, my queen, but I wanted to ask. You may kiss me, leans down, I would rather not be kissed. What do we think, guys? Do we want them to kiss? Should they kiss? I don't know. I'm a little torn here. I feel like because we skipped, we did a bunch of time skips, so I didn't see them develop too much together. But I guess we can assume they've been doing a good job fighting and beating up bad guys together. Let's say yes. Okay, we're going to do it. You may kiss me. You may kiss me, my darling. She leans in. Chompy gives her a smooch on the lips. Thank you, dear. Aw, that was cute. Okay, you're welcome. Chompy smiles at the person he is now dating. Yes, oh, I'm glad you said that, Kendra, because that's what I ended up doing. Okay. He looks over at the sunset. He cannot be more happy. Clean Blue Rose is happy, too. Okay. Clean Blue Rose looks off into the sunset. She cannot be more happy at this moment being with someone she loves. She thinks the future looks great. I love how there's like random typos. <laughs> because when you roleplay, it's all like just instant. So there's like random typos everywhere. Wow. Let's stop here for now. Yeah, that was a good scene. How are you feeling? How's that? That was sweet. It was sweet. Aw. I think it was nice too. Thanks for doing that with me, Stare. You're a good friend. I really like roleplaying with you. I don't know. When I'm with you, I don't mind not having a date at school, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Anyway, I have to log off. My dad's been calling me for ages now. I'll see you tomorrow, though. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Bye! It's not RP if there's no typos. Exactly, Kendra. I'm so sorry, Kev. I know it hurts. Hey, I know I'll cheer you up. Why don't we go on Ruffians? I'm sure if B's online now, you two can battle or something. While you're doing that, I'll try and talk to mom. All right, little dude? Okay. Melting snowball and slime generator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so like battling Neopets. Oh my god. Okay. Let the battle begin, right? <laughs> Chompy wins. Okay. Oh, we're 11 now. All right. I cannot believe they're bringing cats to ruffians. What? Also, hi. I heard about the cats. Oh man, I would be so excited. I know, isn't it so weird and so cool? Cats in a dog-based game, how funny is that? Yeah, oh my gosh. I bet they'll make great subjects for Queen Blue Rose. She can be the protector of cats in the Flower Kingdom. With her love, Chompy, of course. How does that sound? Sure. Neither of those options are very excited. I don't know, I'd be excited if there's cats in the game. Okay, they're bringing cats to ruffians. And you are not reacting to this news. And you didn't bring your best weapons to our battle earlier. Something wrong. What's wrong, Stare? Uh-oh. Um, something kind of happened. We've been friends for years now, so I think I can tell Busy Bee. What happened and who hurt you? Wow, that's intense. Seriously, you can talk to me. What's going on, Stare? Um, it's my mom. Uh, what on earth did your mom do this time? I promise I'll kick that butt face's butt someday for you. Oh, okay. Well, here's where it gets dark. Um, she hit me again. What? I'm sorry, did you say again? She hit you before. Oh, none of these are just yes. Let's go with yes, but. 
Yes, but it was my fault for making her mad. Oh, no, no, Stare. Stare, that's messed up. It's never your fault for being hit. Stare, I'm so sorry. Yeah, all me, all y'all shocked faces. That's how I feel right now, too. Oh, my gosh. Should you contact the police? Oh, man. Um, I tried once. It didn't work. I did that once, but Mom told them she was lying, and then they left, and Mom got really mad at us. Oh, man. Your mom's terrible. Your mom is worse than a butthead to me now. Yeah, I mean, for real. What can I do to help? Can I just talk for a bit? I could really use a friendly hug. I don't think you can help me. It's hopeless. Oh, no, we're not going to say that. Okay. Um, can we just talk about it for a bit? Yeah, of course. My ear is here for you, Stare. Thanks. What a good friend. Now you can chat away. Um, let's just, let's tell B what's going on. Mom's been hitting me since I was seven. That was the first time I remember anyway, and Rachel tries to protect me. So she takes a lot more of it than me, but she wasn't around today and mom was so mad so she hit me. So yeah, oh, that's why Rachel keeps having those voiceovers and putting stare on ruffians. Okay. And I think that's why I play ruffians. I like escaping. I like being somewhere where I don't have to worry about people getting mad at me. And I like to think I'm a better pet mom than my mom is an actual mom, if that makes sense. This is a lot, stare. Yeah, this is a lot. You mind if I ask my dad for advice on this? He might know better what to do about this situation. Um... Oh man, I'm like torn. Do I do what's like real? I feel like, I feel like this is what she would say or he, I guess we don't know if Stare is a he or a she. No, please don't tell him. Okay, I don't tell him then. I don't want my mom to know I told someone. Oh, I get it now, it will be our secret, okay. Just know that your mom is more than a butthead. She's an asshead. <laughs> yeah, I said it and I'm not sorry. You shouldn't be, B. She's worse than that. And maybe keep looking for people who can help you, people besides police officers, I mean. Um, okay. I'll try. Okay. Hearts, hearts. B has a good reaction, tell a grown up. Yeah, B has the right idea. I'm really sorry, Stare. This is hard. I think I should give you some space now. But if you need me, I'll be online tomorrow. With the biggest hugs. Aw. Thanks. Internet hugs. I know we're just web friends or whatever, but I love you, okay? I love you too. More hearts with typos, okay. I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Busy B logged off. I wonder who's gonna win the Ruffians contest today. Let me know, okay, little bro? Oh, bro. Okay, so we're playing a dude. All right. Yeah, maybe bees, maybe bees cool. Like that was, B all said all the right things there. All right, the first ruffians convention booth drawing. Click here to see the winners. Disturbed, ah, oh, busy as a B1. Okay, we're 12 now. Oh my God, I won. I'm going to the convention for ruffians booth. Just in time for my 13th birthday next week. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. I know. They said the airplane is included, but not a place to sleep. But I already told my dad, and he said we can get a hotel in Pennsylvania, so it'll be okay. He told me that he was going to get me a ticket for my birthday anyway if I didn't win. <laughs> be so, so excited, there's like a gajillion typos. <laughs> or Kev, Kevin, presumably. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I think that's right, Ty. I think that's right. Um, your dad is so sweet, I'm jealous, or I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Stare. Are you going to the convention too? What state are you in? Um, I live close to the convention actually. Oh no, are we gonna get to go? Oh my God, really? Are you going? Um, I don't know yet. Oh, okay. I had no idea you were in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Poor B, just cannot spell it. <laughs> Cause I'm in Ohio and that's not too far away. Oh, that's handy. Um, so I've been thinking about this for a while, but I've always wanted to meet you. And this convention might be a really great time to meet up together. 
So could we possibly meet up there and hang out or something? I think that would be really cool. And I want to meet you sometime because you're my best friend and I want to thank you, I think. Aw, that's so nice. So what do you think of that? Mm, I want to meet you. It's too bad. It's too bad that Stair doesn't have a mom that would, like, help chaperone that, make that happen. I asked my dad if we could hang out outside the convention instead, but he said we should meet up there because it's a neutral place. Your dad's right. Even if you don't end up going to the convention, we can meet up there or something, and your sis could take you so your mom doesn't get mad. How does that sound? I'll ask Rachel. Okay, I'll ask Rachel. Yay! That makes me so happy. Oh my god. Now I'm even more excited than I was before. Hold you on, want let me to talk to what? Oh, I see. So you can meet B, bro. That is awesome. Of course I'll help. I have some money in my savings we can use to get a ticket. But you cannot tell mom, okay? No matter what. Or she will freak the F out. Don't okay? worry, Rachel. I won't tell her. And then she would be a good place. Yeah, I agree, Ty. I think like if if kids became friends online and they were going to meet, a convention would be the place to do it, right? Let's talk to Rachel now. She said yes! I'm excited! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crackers! <gasps> That's what my dad says when he's super excited or when he rolls a 20 in TNT. <laughs> I think I'm the dad. <laughs> I think I'm the dad in this game. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I'm so excited to meet you, Stare. You're a really sweet person and my BFF. And like, you're really, really important to me. I'm going to stop rambling now, lol. Anyway, you still want to RP today? Yeah, for sure. I want to RP every day, B. Ugh. Okay, that made me laugh, so there we go. <clears throat> Evil King Weed just took over the Flower Kingdom, and Chompy just rescued Queen Blue Rose from the dungeon, and they're gonna go get Evil King Weed. We stand Bee's dad, for sure. Bee's dad, don't disappoint us. I'm, I'm team Bee's dad right now. And we talked about how the battle between Chompy and Evil King Weed is gonna go and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna kick his butt. Heck yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Chompy runs up the stairs from the dungeon to the throne room. He sees Evil King Weed sitting on the throne. Chompy, get off your throne! Get off the throne, you evil monster! Evil King Weed. Oh, we're gonna play the NPC. Okay. Why should I? Oh, Evil King Weed grins. Why should I? He asks, feeling the throne beneath him with his paws. I belong here. No, you do not! Queen Blue Rose belongs there, Mr. Dictator. Chompy charges at Evil King Weed, swiping his paw towards the bad royal dog. Uh, let's see. Let's do dodges and hits back. Evil King Weed dodges the hit really fast. Then he hits Chompy right back in the face. Chompy falls to the ground because of the hard hit. Oh no, I have to get him for Queen Blue Rose. I can't go down yet. He stands up. Evil King Weed gives a big smile. I'm impressed by your skill, but I'm gonna take you out soon enough. We'll see about that! Chompy jumps at him, pretending to go in for a punch, but kicking out instead. Uh, oh, he can't take the hit this time. Yes, you do, Kendra, that's right. We'll do, we'll catch Chompy's kick. Evil King Weed sees Chompy's kick, though, and he catches it, throwing the dog to the ground. Give up yet? He asks. Oh, that's a good point, Ty. I guess I'm a little surprised at that, too. Chompy is really weak now. He can barely stand up from the ground. No, 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 I have to do this for Queen Blue Rose, he says. He can't stand up at all. Queen Blue Rose arrives from the dungeons. Evil King Weed sees Queen Blue Rose and he gives her a big smile. So nice of you to join us, he says to her. I was just playing with your friend over here, but she'll make a much better plaything. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Chompy crawls up over to Queen Blue Rose. I couldn't stop him, my love. I'm sorry. Queen Blue Rose smiles at her love. Don't worry, Chompy, she says, nuzzling the top of his head and giving him a kiss. I'll take care of this now. 
Wait, before you fight him, there's something I need to tell you. Moon Blue Rose smiles. Yes. What is it, Chompy? Chompy takes a really deep breath. My love, we've been through so many things together and beat up so many bad guys over the years. And I want to beat up this guy for you, but I couldn't. I'm sorry, my dear. I tried really hard. No, Chompy, it's okay, Queen Blue Rose said. I still love you very much. Let's fight evil Queen King Weed together. Yes, let us fight. Thank you, I love you. He kisses her on the cheek. Now let's beat this bad guy up. What do you say? Queen Blue Rose helps Chompy stand up. We can defeat him together, she says to him. Yes! Evil King Weed laughs. Mwahahaha, he says loudly. Evil King Weed smiles at Queen Blue Rose, then at Chompy. I am unstoppable, and I am the Flower Kingdom's true ruler, he says loudly, a satisfied smile on his face. True ruler? What are you talking about? Oh. Evil Queen King Weed laughs. There's so much you don't know about yourself, Queen Blue Rose, he says, grinning evilly. Allow me to explain. I used to rule this land before the queen exiled me, Evil King Weed screams. She said I was a bad ruler because I wanted to get the most out of my people, and she didn't like the methods I was using to get them to do what I wanted. Queen Blue Rose is frozen. She's realizing something. Uh-oh. And who was that queen? Evil Queen Kingweed points to Queen Blue Rose. That queen was Queen Blue Rose's mother! And I am her father! Oh no! Y'all! We're beating up our dad! <gasps> queen Blue Rose lets out a cry of agony. No! Evil Kingweed smiles. That's right, daughter! I will defeat you and exile you like I was! And then I will rule this land again. I have so many plans for the Flower Kingdom. Not if we can stop you. Let's get ready to fight, Queen Blue Rose. Um, let's do this. Queen Blue Rose is dazed by all the information, but she is resolved. She will defeat evil King Weed and get him out of her kingdom. And that's where we'll stop for now. What? No, okay. The others have been good stopping points. This was a cliffhanger. What's wrong with you, B? Thanks for the hydrate, Kendra. I probably need it with this much talking. Okay. Holy crackers, that was good. What do you think? Um, <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Literally, that's how I feel right now. Me too. Let's talk about it next time, Kay. That was seriously awesome like a movie. And I'm glad we can talk about emotional stuff in our RPs. It makes me happy. It makes me happy too. Oh no, my dad is calling me. I have to go. I have chores. And I want to pack for the convention, too. But we can talk later, okay? Yeah, totally. Thanks, Kendra. <laughs> talk to you later, Stair. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, we're 13 now. Going to the Pennsylvania Comic Con for ruffians. Look, we were just at the park, okay? We were just at the park for the day. Why is this such a big deal? We don't spend a lot of brother and sister time together, and I'm leaving for college soon. So I want to hang out with Kevin, okay? I'm not lying. Yeah, you liar. Oh no. Look, we were just at the park, okay? We were just at the park for the day. Okay, Why so you're back at the deal? hotel now? No, yes. They I'm have a computer here, so I'm using it now. So Are you home? Kevin, okay? Yeah, we just got I'm back. Mom lying. called Rachel to talk to her. They're talking. Before we left, Rachel told her we went to the park for the day to spend park, some time okay? together, but she's suspicious we now. Why is this such a big deal? But hey, I wanted to tell you. Hey, Globe! Welcome. But, um, hey, I wanted to tell you I had a lot of fun with you today. Oh, good, they did get to meet. And I wasn't expecting you to be a boy, but that honestly doesn't matter to me. Well, it shouldn't, because you're internet friends. You're a great friend, and I enjoyed going to the convention with you, is my point. 
P.S. Your sister is super cool. Look, we were just at the park. So you thought I was a girl. <laughs> yeah, oops, sorry about that. I hope I was who you expected or something. I don't know. Um, oh. I didn't expect your wheelchair, it's so cute. Aw, oh, thank you. It took a long time to get the stickers and stuff. I mean... Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that lots. Some people treat me like an idiot, but you didn't, and that's great. And, um, you're really cute. Whoa. I would be saying... I, I would be saying that if you were a girl, too. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. No, we didn't go. Ah, stop it. Stop it. No, Kevin. Mm -mm. What? Stare, what's going on? Kevin, are you okay? Please tell me you're okay. Mom doubt, found out we went somewhere far. She looked at the gas for the car and saw how low it was, and she yelled at Rachel, and she hit me again. She's banging on the door now. Don't let her in. Please be okay, Kevin. <laughs> okay, she's gone for right now, but she's gonna get me when I step out of this room and she's probably gonna hit me again. It's like Rachel always says, we're screwed so hard. Kevin, I'm so sorry. I should have known this would happen. I guess I was so optimistic I thought it wouldn't happen. I'm so sorry. I wish I could do something. I'm just so sorry, Kevin. Um, it's okay. Through your ass head, Mom. She sucks. She doesn't deserve you, Kevin. Oh no, this is so sad. Oh, I can't say that. Okay, we're gonna say thanks, B. You're welcome. So what do you want to do for now? I want to RP. Sounds good. Let's do something chill and soft. Yeah, that sounds good. With Chompy and Queen Blue Rose. That sounds good. Yes. Aw, yay. You start. This one. Queen Blue Rose was having a bad day. Things had been good for a long time, but recent events with the... Evil King Weed, returning, left her scared and confused. Chompy sees that Queen Blue Rose is very, very sad. Don't be sad, my love. Here, I will comfort you. He gives Queen Blue Rose a big, big hug, trying to show her how much he loves her. Queen Blue Rose is comforted by their hug, but she knows that the battles are just beginning. She tries to hold on to this hug. Chompy gives her a big squeeze. I love you, okay, Queen Blue Rose? Embrace the sad. Okay, Kendra, next time there's a choice between sad or not as sad, I'll choose the sadder one. We've been through so much together, and you are so important to me. So please believe me when I say there's hope, and that I care about you. Queen Blue Rose smiles. Thank you, Chompy, she says. Thank you for giving me hope. Chompy smiles. Anything for you, my love. He lets go of the hug and stays next to her. I'm here as long as you need me, okay? Queen, Queen Blue Rose nods. Okay. Chompy smiles. Okay, did that help? Yeah, it did. I'm glad, Kevin. I think I'm gonna log off now. Okay, if you need me, I'm here later. But I think I'll pack up now, okay? It was great to meet you today. Sorry about your asshead, Mom. I hope you'll be okay. Um, I hope so, too. I believe it. Well, thanks, B. Um, I'll see you later. I love you. I know it's gonna be really hard. I'll call when I can, okay? Just be safe. Okay, Kev? You receive a gift from Rally for Rachel! Oh, oh my gosh, this really does look like Neopets items, doesn't it? 
and 300,000 bones. A note from the gifter. Kevin, I won't have as much time to play in college, so I figure you'd appreciate some of my extra stuff. Enjoy. P.S. Love you so much, Rachel. P.S. What do you think of the new ruffians designs? I really like them. All right, we're 14 now. Oh, those designs are way nicer. Okay. Staircase Heaven 14's doghouse. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. I'm Staircase Heaven 14. New message. Hey you, how's the build up high school treating you? Um Rachel left today. Oh, so Rachel went to college. Are you okay? Here we go. Kendra, I'm doing this for you, choosing the sadder choice. I feel like shit. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm here to listen, okay? You'll always have me, Kevin. Talk to me. How am I going to survive here alone? I could barely survive here with Rachel here, and now she's gone. That means Mom's target shifts to me, and only me. And I think I'm a girly failure, haha. -ha. Things are going to get so much worse, I know it. I wish Rachel was here to help me, and I wish... I wish you were here with me. I wish we were classmates or something because when I'm with you, I feel okay about myself. And I feel like everything's going to end up all right, you know? Oh my gosh, this is so sad. I don't know why I'm rambling, I guess. Sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. Yeah, you shouldn't be sorry. You have nothing be so to be sorry for, Kevin. The situation really sucks. Your mom's an asshole and you don't deserve to be alone there. But, um, I have to shift the subject for a sec. I have a serious question. Okay. Well... I was wondering if you like, fuck, I'm, oh, do you like me as more than a friend? Because I've noticed some things over the years and I've been too shy to say anything, haha. -ha. They're teenagers now, right? They're like 13. That makes sense. Okay. But I'm saying something now because of what you just said and wishing I was there. Kevin, do you like me? Yeah. I mean, right? Of course he does. Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, wow, um, I was kind of expecting that, but now I'm nervous again, <laughs> because um, I like you too, as more than a friend. And I felt that way for a really long time, but I'm so shy, lol. And I don't know if you feel the same way, so I didn't want to ruin this, you know, because you're someone very important to me. What are you thinking? Um, let's do this one. I had no idea you felt the same way. Guess I'm doing good at hiding it. No, wait. I guess we're both good at hiding it. No, you're both just teenagers. <laughs> uh, before we go any further, um, there's something I want you to know. So like with the RP of Chompy and Queen Blue Rose becoming a couple when we were 10, I did that just because I wanted to date you. Yes, that was obvious. Um, and I felt really bad about it, to be honest, and I felt bad about it for a long time. But I was a kid. I didn't know better, so I hid my feelings in our special space without thinking, and I'm sorry. Oh man, should I say, that's like my thoughts. I don't think that's Stare thoughts. Uh, I think Stare just says, wow. Yeah, I wanted to make sure you knew before anything else happened. So yeah, what now? We both like each other. We're the same age with the same birthday. Would you want to like date over the internet? I know it's a thing people do and I've thought about it a lot doing it with you. Haha. -ha. What do you think, Kevin? Yeah, um... Let's do something nice for Kevin. I would like to date you. Oh my god. Well, I'm nervous again. Lol, this is exciting. Oh my god. I am nervous too. I've wanted to know you more intimately for a long time now, so I'm kind of over the moon. So we're a couple now, like Chompy and the Queen. Lol. And I know we won't be able to hug or kiss or stuff like that, but we'll be here for each other and that's what matters. Right. I'm excited to be your girlfriend, Kevin, and for you to be my boyfriend. Oh, this is cute. So yeah, what are you thinking? I'm really excited. Me too. But Kevin, I love you, okay? Aww, I love you too. Yes, Kevin needs something happy. Okay, I will talk to you later. I love you. Busy Bee has logged off. They were 15 now. Busy Bee's doghouse. So this is the new designs for the ones that, that she has. Roar! Uh, hi, I'm Bee, and you're welcome 
at my doghouse friend. I swear I saw this exact font around this time on the internet. <laughs> Hello, my lovely Kevin. Did you get back safely? Yeah, I did. Or yeah, my mom didn't notice a thing. Oh, oh, they went and met again. Ah, don't get caught, Kevin. Yeah, mom didn't notice a thing. Good. I really enjoyed seeing you, even if you had to take the bus. And my dad would not stop hovering over us. Well, good. That's what dad should have done. Thanks, dad. Yeah, that was awkward. <gasps> I'm glad he let me kiss you, though. Aw. That was really nice. I miss you already. Because, man, when you're 13, that's how it feels, right? Or 14. I think they're 14 now. Whatever it is. Anyway. Aw, me too. I'm sure we can see each other again soon. And until then, I have a pic we took together with my phone. I'm going to make that my opening screen, and I'll email it to you. Don't worry. Oh, my God, that is so freaking cute. I wish your mom would get you a phone, though, and then we could call each other. At least we can call on Skype, even if I can't see you since you don't have a webcam. Um, yeah, though my mom's starting to get suspicious about the phone. We love this dad. Yes, this dad is awesome. All the right things. I tell her that I'm just watching videos online, but I don't think she's buying it anymore. I think she's listening through my door now. Oh no, that's not good. I want to talk to you more often, but I don't want you to be in danger. Maybe we should only talk late at night or something. We can brainstorm later. Anyway, um, I was wondering if you wanted to roleplay today. Not like the regular one, but like the one we've been doing. It's been really fun, and I like getting to know you better. Oh... Is, am I gonna am I gonna have to read that out loud? Is this what's happening? Okay. Um I like getting to know you. Thank you, Kev. Shall we get started? I have a scenario already in mind that we could do. Basically start in an empty room and go from there. Well, that, I mean that's something, I guess. See what happens. And of course, if either of us needs to stop, we can let the other know. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Here's the scenario. You and your partner in an empty room, a white void surrounded by walls. There's only you and him. Do what you will with each other and see where the roleplay takes you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Kendra, apparently this is happening. I see why there was a content warning in front of this particular game. Okay. Well, nice white void we're having here. It is nice. Yeah, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she said ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, we're gonna- okay. I'm a professional, y'all. I'm a professional content creator. We're gonna read it. Okay. I come over to you until we're only a few inches apart. I smile at you. So, are you gonna kiss me, handsome? Um, I smile and bend down, kissing you gently on the lips. Why, of course, I say with a smile. Your lips are warm. I receive the kiss and then pull away, grinning. Such an obedient boy. Oh my god. Thanks. <clears throat> Why, you're welcome, my dear. These are just words on the screen. Okay, it's fine, Karen. <laughs> I give you a smirk, and my hand slides down your stomach to your pants. Stop. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> okay, can do. Sorry, thought you might like that. You okay? It's not you. No problem, no sorries needed. Want to talk about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what's happening. They called, they were called gay. People don't usually use gay as an insult for girls. No, Ty, I think B is a girl in a wheelchair and that likes girls, right? Because B, when they met, B said that they would have thought Kevin was cute if he was a girl. But I think we're about to find out Kevin is a girl. I just don't like my body. I don't know. There are just parts I, about it I don't like. Got it. Thanks for telling me. I'm glad you can tell me to stop. That's a good thing, babe. Okay, thanks, B. Aha. This struck me how we're doing this on ruffians. Kind of funny. We grew up, but the website didn't. <laughs> it's funny. I'm sure that was a lot of people's Neopets experience that were actually RPing on there. 
They did, yeah, they did when I was in high school too, Kendra. Yeah, lol. All right. I have to go do some favors for my dad, so I have to go. I'll see you later, yeah, love? Of course. Yay. Okay, I'll talk to you later, Kevin. Love you. <clears throat> 16. Okay, we're 16 now. Hey, babe, how are you? Whoa, this is escalated. <clears throat> You know, the usual. Yeah, high school, man. It's been really hard not being able to see you. I miss you a lot. I miss you too. Yeah, thanks, babe. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I can't wait to see you again, though. I've been talking about my, my dad about driving down to Pennsylvania, and I'm really excited. Oh, no. No, this isn't going to work out. Yeah, about that. What happened? Gonna be drama with the mama. My mom found out about us. I knew it. Oh no. Oh shit. Kevin, are you okay? Um. Oh damn. Everything hurts, B. Shit, shit, shit. I'm so, so sorry. Please let me know if you're okay. Please. I really don't know what to feel right now. That's okay too, it's okay to not know. If there's anything I can do, just ask, okay? The least I can do. Oh no. Oh, this is the super sad. I think I just need to talk it out. I think we need to break up. I think I need to be alone. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Kendra, this is for you. I think we need to break up. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Why? As long as I'm here, I'm not safe seeing you. I can't bear it. I love you so much, but every time I talk to you now, I have to wonder if my mom will find out. And that's so painful for me, B. I'm always looking over my shoulder and hoping her rage never hits you too, but it did today. And it hurts to say this, but maybe we should wait until we're older to see each other. When I'm out of this house and I can make decisions without feeling like I'm going to get beaten for them. I want to see you, and you're so precious to me, but it's hard right now. Please. Kendra, this is what you wanted. Don't be saying no like that. I have a lot of feelings right now. I don't want to cause you pain while dating you, but why do you want to break up if you still love me? I don't get that. I mean, he just explained it. Sorry, I'm not trying to argue with you, but I really want to understand. Can you help me understand why you want to break up if you still love me? It's just so painful, Dee. Because you're so precious to me and I love you so much and it makes the times when we're apart really hard. And now that my mom knows about us, things are going to get so much worse. I don't want to be in pain anymore. I'm sorry, but I don't. Maybe that's selfish because you're so important to me. But I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> I'm shaming you for, with love, Kendra. <clears throat> I see. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were in so much pain that our relationship was causing you so much pain. That's, I don't want to force you to stay. That's not really what I mean. But I won't. Perhaps when we can come back to this in the future when you're finally away from your mom. Yeah, there we go. What do you think? I'd like that. Yes. Me too. Hey, um, I'd still like to come down to PA though. Talk about this more in person. I promise I'm not trying to change your mind, Kevin. Would it be okay if I come? Oh, no. No. No, no, no. That's too risky. Okay, I understand that, and I don't want you to get hurt, so I won't come. Okay. All right. I'm going to log off for a while, think things over. I still want to be friends with you, you know. You're my closest friend, and I don't want that to change. I don't want that to change either. I'm glad. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, Kev? Bye for now. Oh man, that noise! Hey bud, so you wanted to talk to me? Yeah, I got time. College is super busy. But not too busy when my little bro needs me. <laughs> what? You... Oh. Wow, this is... This is big. No, no, I appreciate you telling me. And I love and accept you, sister. Always. 
Don't knew it. Though, okay. Are you Kev is a girl. Be? Gotta tell B. Guess what, bitches? What? Well, I got into NYU with a scholarship. Wow! Oh, congrats, B. Guess that's my birthday gift before I turn 18. Hell yeah. Thanks. I hope you get into your dream school too, Kevin. You deserve that. Oh, my mom doesn't know I applied to my dream school. Good, that asshole doesn't deserve to know. I love that we've graduated to asshole now. That's great. I love that for B. So anyway, what's up? There's something I have to tell you. All right, nothing serious, right? No, it's pretty serious. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm listening, friendo. What's going on? Oh, man. Um, let's tiptoe into it a little bit. Although I think B's going to be okay with it. So you know when we met at the ruffians convention and you were like oh i weren't expecting you to be a boy i thought you were a girl too well it turns out i am a girl too i'm trans i'm a transgender girl b oh oh wow uh please don't hate me what are you talking about i don't hate you you're my bff fuck gender it doesn't change our friendship i knew b was gonna be chill with it okay okay oh my god i'm crying Offers internet tissues. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just happy. That's good. I'm happy you trust me enough to tell me. Yeah, Mochi, we love that. Does Rachel know? Yeah, I already came out to her. Good. Your sis is pretty chill, so I'm not surprised she was chill about this. I'm sure your mom doesn't know. I don't want to tell mom. That's fine. She's dick and you don't owe her anything. Especially not things she will use to hurt you more. I'm glad you'll be out of her house next year at college. I don't want anything to happen to you, Kevin. But anyway, this isn't about your mom. This is about you. And sorry, you have a different name you want me to use. I came up with Kayla. It's so similar to my birth name, but I like it. I like it too. Hi, Kayla. I'm crying again. <laughs> Aw, oh, gives more internet tissues. Aw, oh, shoot, my dad's calling me. That was fast, lol. I have to go, Kayla, but I want you to know that I'm glad you trust me, Uwu, and that I love you no matter what, okay? Gosh. Go away, bot. Okay. Thanks, B. I'm just giving you the respect you deserve, friend. I'll talk to you later. See ya! Hey, bud, you got my package? Perfect. I had some extra cash, so I thought I'd get you a phone. Do not let mom know about it, okay? Open when you get there, and I can help you get it all set up. I, I love you, Kayla, so much. I hope I say that enough. I'll see you during my next break, okay? Aw, uh, good sister. New message. <phone rings> Kayla, you there? I'm unpacking at the minute. Hi. Oh, I love the clicky sounds changed. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, right. You move in the dorm today. I'm so happy for you right now. You're English. You English major. You. Ah, congrats, Kayla. Villanova sounds like a great place. Um, yeah, anything to get out of that house. Truth. Your mom is an asshole to top all assholes. <laughs> so wait, if you're unpacking, how are you messaging me? My phone? First of all, oh my god, you have a new phone, yay! Second of all, the website app looks terrible on smartphones. That's dedication. Man, this website. Wow, I can't believe we've been here all this fucking time. Guess we should switch messaging purely, Skype or something. Something better than this archaic messaging system, what do you think? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened to most people that were role-playing on Neopets, right? Like you eventually graduated to some other system. Boy, well, I had an old, old RP friend that went there. Oh, wow. Small world, Kendra. Uh, there must be some connection there. Okay. I kind of like it on Ruffians. No, we're going to switch to Skype. Duh. New and fast, lol. Um, plus, we can see each other. Yeah, I think so, too. I'll be blessed with your visage more often. <laughs> uh, going to be great. 
I move into my dorm next week. Kind of nervous about accessibility, to be honest. Didn't look excellent when we visited, but I'm still excited. Also, now that we don't have to worry about your mom anymore, I'd like to send you a package in the mail. Is that okay? Oh my god, that's so sweet. Of course. Yay! Okay, okay, I'll tell you what it is. I've been holding it in for this long. Basically, I found this online person who makes custom plushies, and I kind of want to make... Oh, a queen blue rose! That's amazing! Thank you. So yeah, I'll get your address later so I can ship it to you. Not to brag or anything, but it came out really good, and I got chompy from them after. Ah! Oh my gosh. No fair, I want to get you a chompy. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I can't wait to send it to you. Oh my god, we can send stuff to each other now. Letters too. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm excited for them. So glad you're not living with your mom anymore, Kayla. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But I just wanted to pop in and say hi. And, like, I don't know. I've been looking back at the past lately. With us, I mean. And I have a lot of good memories with you, Kayla. And, you know, like, thanks. Ooh, woo. I have a lot of good memories with you, too. That's good to hear, because I look back at the stuff I did and I groan sometimes. But if you have good memories, then hey, that's what matters. Anyway, didn't mean to get sappy on you, lol, but yeah. There's a few things I want to ask you, but for now, I should leave to get packing, yeah. Uh, no, just ask me. No, what's up? Um, well, so, so I'm like, I remember you said we should revisit dating when you're out of the house, and that time has come. To be completely honest, I thought you'd, I'd outgrow dating you, move on, but I haven't, and here I am. Whoa. Are you still, I'm still interested in you, honestly. Are you interested in me? Yeah. I mean, this is the OTP of the game. I am. B, you're smart and funny and brave as hell, and I love you, and that hasn't changed. That makes me really happy. So you'd be willing to give this another shot? Hell yeah. I like that enthusiasm. Thank you, Kayla. I'm so happy to be your girlfriend again and for you to be my girlfriend. Aww. All right. I'm going to call. I'm going college shopping with my dad, so I'll talk to you later. Love ya. Love you too. Waste no time. Yeah. <laughs> B is on it. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later, Kayla. Love you lot. Take me back to that place where you used to run and play and I'll join you. Oh, that's how it ends. Take me back. That was so cute. To your secret get away and I'll check on your tiny your pets. Wait, wait, wait. I'll join you there. Is this oh my god. It's literally linked to Neopets. Wow, it looks so different since the last time I was on this website. That was so good! Oh, it was sad at parts, but I'm really happy for Kayla and B. They made it work in the end. The alerts are broken again. No, that's okay. I'll play it for you. Neopets needs to either step it up or it's going to stop working. Yeah, I have no idea what they're doing about Flash. It's a good question. I 
think this is best singing. They sound great. Thank you, Kendra. I'm glad I shared it too. I'm going to let this song play out and then I'm going to show y'all where you can get this game and some other games by Bez. I wonder if it loops. <laughs> we'll find out. Sounds like it's about to be the end. And thank you, Kendra. I'm glad I shared it too. I didn't know what to expect. I just knew that Bez has been a really great supporter of mine. And so of course I wanted to show off some of their work, you know? Let's go ahead. Let's stop the song because I want to show you all this before anybody gets bored and leaves the stream. Okay, so this is it. Lore Distance Relationship. This is norbez.itch.io slash lore distance relationship. I'm going to pop the URL into the chat. That's where you can get this game in particular because it's on itch.io. When you download it, you can name your own price. I think by default it's two bucks. So um, please at least do two bucks, right? If you came from me, I would ask that. But if you want to do more, of course you can do more. But um, Bez has a lot of games. So if we click on here, they've got a whole bunch of other, you know, very similar, like interactive story type of games on here. And I mean, that one was really awesome. So I'm sure a lot of these others are awesome as well. If that one in particular, you know. If, uh, if early 2000s aesthetic is not your jam the way it is my jam, I'm sure you can find something else on here that's, uh, that is your jam because that was really cute, right? Like that was so cute. So anyway, norbez.itch.io right there in the chat. If y'all are interested in supporting somebody who is an indie creator like myself and who has been very, very supportive of my work, then please go check them out. All right. So we did finish that. Oh, I'm so glad. I wasn't too sure, right? Because I'd not, not played this before, so I wasn't too sure if we would get to finish it. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some Pokemon <clears throat> like we like to do. Just getting the screen set up and then we'll switch back so that y'all can see the, uh, the Photoshop. <clears throat> Uh, 
All right. I'm over here. Okay. Pokemon time. There we go. Okay. Let's. Okay, I just wanted to clear out the chat real quick so it wasn't totally clogging up the side. All right, guys, so we are going to take a look at some Gen 3 Pokemon this time. So Gen 3 there, we're going to mark that box, and we're going to look at the fighting ones first. Let's change the sort over to National Dex number, and here we go. So we can do Combiskin or Blaziken, right? We've got Breloom, Makuhita, Hariyama, that line, and then we've got the Metatite line. So my favorite of the fighting types for this generation is Metacham. So let me drag him over. I'll show you guys what he looks like. All right, so this is Metacham here. I know I usually go for the, little, the littler ones, the smaller evolutions, right? The earlier evolutions, but for this one, I like the later evolution. So for Metacham, we've got, it is said that through meditation, Metacham heightens energy inside its body and sharpens its sixth sense. This Pokemon hides its presence by merging itself with fields and mountains. Through this power of meditation, Metacham developed a sixth sense. It gained the ability to use psychokinetic powers. This Pokemon is known to meditate for a whole month without eating. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, I think it looks really cool too. So this is the one I like to do for Gen 3 for fighting. So that is right there. Right there. He's a fighting psychic type. All right. So next, let's take a look at the ghost types for this generation. Ghost. Okay, so we can choose for the meme either Shedinja, Sableye, or the Shuppet line, or the Duskull line. So my fave, of course, you know, girls like sparklies, right? Girls like sparklies. And Sableye has big old sparkly eyes. So that is my one. Ah, thank you so much for the follow, Wearied TR. So happy to have you here with us today. Um, you're catching us at the end of the stream here. We're kind of wrapping up with some Pokemon stuff. But the VODs will be up on YouTube um, later on tomorrow. All right, so let's look at Sableye's entries. Scroll down here. Sableye leads quiet, Sableye lead quiet, oh, lead quiet lives deep inside caverns. They are feared, however, because these Pokemon are thought to steal the spirits of people with their eyes burned with a sinister glow in the darkness. Sableye digs the ground with sharpened claws to find rocks that it eats. Substances in the eaten rocks crystallize and rise up to the Pokemon's body surface. So it literally eats rocks and that's why its eyes are gems. Sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wearied. All right, so let's go down to the ghost types, and here we go. This is the ghost type for Gen 3 that I like to put on here. Okay, next one, we are going to take a look at some fire types for Gen 3. Now, if you guys remember from last time we looked at fire types, you already know what I'm going to pick because I stand the fire starters hardcore. But here's the other choices you could potentially make if you're doing this meme too. So you got the Torchic line, you got the Numel line, and you got Torkoal, and then if you want to do Sunny Cast form, right? But of course, I freaking love the fire starters. That is my go-to choice, my first playthrough of every Pokemon game. So here we go, Torchic. That's my choice, obviously. Uh, Torchic sticks with its trainer, following behind with unsteady steps. This Pokemon breathes fire over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, including fireballs that leave a foe scorched black. Torchic has a place inside its body where it keeps its flame. Give it a hug and it will be glowing with warmth. This Pokemon is covered all over by a fluffy coat of down. So it's a fluffy fire hugging Pokemon. I mean, how cute is that? All right, so let's go down to our fire ones. Gen 3, there we go. That is Torchic. Oh, it didn't pop up. There we go. Torchic right there for Gen 3. All right. Let's go back here. And next, we're going to take a look at the dragon types for this particular generation. There we go. There's dragon. The thing is really dang cute. Yes, it is. I love the cute Pokemon. So, of course, I am so here for Torchic. 
All right, so here's the different dragon ones you could choose. You could choose the Vibrava line, you've got Altaria, the Bagon line, and then of course I don't choose legendaries, but there's a bunch of dragon legendaries this generation. So my choice is, of course, the pretty one, Altaria, right? Altaria is definitely my dragon choice. So let me show them off. So there she is, right there. Okay, let's go look at her, her entries. Altaria. And that's, that's Altaria. It's literally like a bird that's a cloud, which I think is the coolest, most beautiful thing. All right. Altaria dances and wheels through the sky among billowing cotton-like clouds. By singing melodies in its crystal clear voice, this Pokemon makes its listeners experience dreamy wonderment. Altaria sings in a gorgeous soprano. Its wings are like cotton clouds. This Pokemon catches updrafts with its buoyant wings and soars way up to the wild blue yonder. That's Altaria. All right. And then the last one we're going to look at for the meme today is we're going to do the Gen 3 Legendary. So if I scroll down here, let's take a look at all the different Gen 3 Legendaries. So for Generation 3, we've got the Regis, right? We've got Regice, Registeel, and Regirock. We've got the Latias and Latios, the Eons duo, and then we've got the Weather Trio with Gro uh, Grodon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. So my choice here, I'm going to be super basic with y'all. I'm going to choose the one that everybody loves, Rayquaza. And yes, I know it's pronounced Ray Rayquaza. I don't care. I've been pronouncing it that way forever. I didn't learn until years later that it was Ray Rayquaza, so I still say Rayquaza. It's cool. Whatever. We can do it. All right, let's take a look at our Snake Boy's entries. Rayquaza lives for hundreds of millions of years in the Earth's ozone layer, never descending to the ground. This Pokemon appears to feed on water and particles in the atmosphere. Rayquaza is said to have lived for hundreds of years, or hundreds of millions of years in the Earth's ozone layer above the clouds. Its existence has been completely unknown because it was so high in the sky. And there we go. Let's put him on his little, his spot. Gen 3 Legendary. Okay, we're making progress, y'all. Look at how much we've gone through this. It's been a lot. All right, we'll do more Pokemon next time. We'll do more Pokemon next time. Let me save. All right. It is saved. That's how far we've gotten. Okay. All right, so end of stream time. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, please check out Bez's games. It was really fun playing this one. This was like, I didn't really know exactly what to expect. Um... But I really loved it. So I'm glad that uh, that we chose this game to do and um, and that y'all enjoyed it, too. Uh, I definitely feel like super nostalgic right now after playing that. All right, so all the places you can find me. You can find me right here on Twitch. We stream every Thursday starting at 6.30 Eastern, Artistic License, which is my variety stream. You can expect all different kinds of things on this stream. We're going to get back next week to Final Fantasy X, so if you guys have been enjoying that, then make sure you're here back next week. We're going to go save Yuna. I know I left y'all on a cliffhanger last week. We're going to go save Yuna and get back on track next week. Uh, also, we stream on Saturdays. That is Interstage Window, which is at noon Eastern, which that's my conversation stream. We have a deeper conversation about role play topics and things of that nature. And um, next week we are going to be talking about uh, creating a plot from scratch. So I will give you guys more information on that tomorrow morning as I normally do in the Discord, which is also down below. You're welcome to join the Discord as well. That's our role play help Discord server. And it's also a great way to make sure that you get notified of all of my content because I actually control the notifications there, unlike everywhere else. Uh, the other place you can find me is on YouTube. So YouTube, I have a show called Spare Room, which goes up on Wednesdays at 2 p.m., which is my scripted, you know, more discreet, short role play help topics that you can find there. I also post all of my VODs on YouTube, which is where you can find them. All of that is linked down below. I also have all of the, the usuals, you know, the Patreon. I have a book also that I sell. You can find all this down in the about, right? Um, tips, da 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 da. You get it. Y'all know the drill. Um, my main social medias that I use are TikTok and Twitter. My handles there are at, at It's Karen Terry. So if you see It's Karen Terry on Twitter or on TikTok or really anywhere, that's me. But those are the two that I actually use. So those are the places you can follow me for additional content. Twitter is mostly hot takes and advertising. TikTok is mostly silliness and advertising. So there you go. Okay, that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Um, I'm so glad you had fun, Lunar. I had a lot of fun too. All right. Bye, y'all. See you on Saturday.